What is going on everybody, it's Nothing But Skills, and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to get the Secret Hunter mask, the Angel mask. Now this mask, I really like it with all blacked out outfits, so if you guys are into that look, well, this is going to be the mask for you. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find six lion eyes. The first one is going to be right here at this resource area. So if you look where this resource area, just north of the control point, the vault, that is north of the White House. There is a resource area right here where it has food. So right here, there is a store. So we're going to go inside. It looks like it's an old restaurant. Once you go inside, there's going to be a refrigerator there. And as soon as we open up this refrigerator, a pair of lion eyes drop. So this is one of six that we have to get. So just remember that we do have to get five more and you're going to have to use these later on. The second set of lion eyes are going to be at this donut shop right here called the Donut Shack. I'm going to show you where it is on the map right now. If you look right where I'm at, another food resource, you see where this um, control point is, New Venice? Right there, there is just to the north of it, there's a donut shack. You guys have probably seen this before. If you've done any of the activities, a lot of them end up here. You're going to head all the way to the back, go all the way to the back where you see how all this blood goes. And to your left, there is going to be a refrigerator. So this is going to be number two that you guys want to get. So grab these lion eyes and there you go now you can get these in any order you want now the third set of eyes that you guys can pick up are going to be at a control point yes they're going to be right here at the riverside gas station now i forgot i had my map on heroic when i was doing this so instead of trying to clear this out solo i was like forget this i'm just gonna rush in there so all i did is i rushed in there I opened up the refrigerator and then I grabbed the eyes. If you end up grabbing, if you end up getting killed, then you have to go back or you can just clear out the area. So the next set is going to be right there in that fridge. Now, if you died like I died and you didn't end up picking it up, just head back, run back in there and grab it. You shouldn't have to do this. So honestly, you shouldn't have to do this if you do it on normal. This was heroic, so I didn't want to have to clear out that control point. So the next set of eyes are going to be located right here at this burger spot now there is a safe house the final safe house which is located just south of us and there's also a control point which is going to be left to that so this is just northeast of grand washington hotel look at that you have the fi uh, fallen cranes and then right here you have this food joint right here this is the burger spot inside of course in another refrigerator there is going to be another set of lion eyes so we're getting close, guys. We're almost finished with all the lion eyes. And we're going to grab this pair right here. Now, the next set of lion eyes are located at this noodle bar. So you have District Union to our left of Stronghold. You'll have this water resource area right here. And it's on that same street right there. So on the street next to the water resources, across from it. So the, the water resources are right there. Across from it, noodle bar. And in the back, of course, in a refrigerator. We're going to find our fifth set of the lion eyes. So, yeah, so we're one step closer to heading to some statues because we these, these eyes are going to activate some statues for us. So we're going to grab this set right here. So pick up the eyes and then let's go find our final set of lion eyes. Now, there is going to be another restaurant we have to head to. And this one is going to be located right here in Constitution Hall. So if you see where Ivory Tunnel um, Control Point is, in Constitution Hall, it's right here, right down the street. So if you have this one unlocked, you can fast travel there, run here, and there will be a restaurant. If you've never been in here, you got to open up the doors first. And in the back, we'll find a refrigerator. And then that'll be our sixth and final set of lion eyes. And then now, we just have to go activate some statues. So now we're in front of the statue that we need to turn. You see that little lion statue right there? We need to activate this. So this is going to be located in Constitution Hall. You see where this outcast key lockbox is if you zoom in. You have DCD right here. To my left, I have the Nest control point, and it's right here, right here, right on this map. What you need to do is activate the line. Now, this line is going to rotate, and when it rotates, it's going to show you where you need to go. So wherever it's facing, it's where we need to run. So we're just going to follow this line's uh, field division. He's headed straight. And there's a line here. So then this is the second line we have to activate. Now these have to be done in order. Remember, you can do this on day or nighttime. That's really up to you. So now he turned left. So we're just going to follow this all the way down. 
pretty much you just follow it a straight line. Just follow it all the way down and you will end up running into all of the lines. This was pretty cool. Um, the guys over on Reddit are crazy good at figuring this all out. We are getting close. Now the statue is going to be right above us. And then now we have to hit this one. So we just activated our third statue. So, you know, we should have three more. Now this one is faced all the way to the left, you see behind me. So we're going to follow this one and this one's going to be a little bit of a jog. So just head straight all the way down. So we're actually going to have to go up these stairs right here. The, the line's going to be up to the top. You see it? There it goes. So there we go. Now we just have to go all the way up and then activate this line right here. Now this line is going to turn all the way to the left. So that means we need to head over this platform and then go to the opposite side of this. So as you continue running, you're going to know that you run into a mission area, right? Because there is a mission right here, DCD um, headquarters. What you need to do is go around it. So literally go around this and it's going to be located right here. The statue is on the opposite side of this. So I'm just going to show you how to get to it. So we're going to cut through the main entrance. We're not going into DCD. You just cut through. Just follow this around. And I'm keeping this, I'm showing you this whole part because I know some people are probably going to get confused on exactly where it's at. But yeah, you just run all the way around and we're almost there. We are almost there. It's going to be to the left. And if we keep going straight, just keep going straight on this road right here. Right in front of us, we have our statue. Once you interact with this. This is going to take us to another statue. So this one's turning us all the way to the left. And you see we went from one point to another. So if you're looking for this one, this one might be a little confusing. Follow us all the way down and it should take us to the final statue. Now this is going to be a little bit of a jog. So you might want to be ready for this one. Um, you're going to have to run a little bit. Once I get to the location, I'll show you exactly where you're going to be. It's going to be a plaza with a main statue on there. So keep going straight. And we should be coming up on it. Yep. So once you get to this little like small construction site here that never got finished, you'll start seeing like a burning fire and you will see a statue here. Now this is where you guys want to be ready. So if you're going to do this with a team, if you're going to do this part all the way solo, this is when you want to get ready. So this is exactly where it is. You see where the haunted house is? Right here is the final statue. Now remember you have to do these statues in order and you can do this daytime, nighttime, however you want. Now what I did is I ended up calling in a friend so we could do this together to make sure that we can knock out this hunter. So as soon as you interact with the statue, the hunter will spawn. So you interact with them, the statue is gonna turn in the direction that the hunter spawns, turns around, so get in cover, and the hunter will spawn right there. Now one thing I would recommend, don't do this on Heroic. This was on Heroic and I don't know if the global modifier affects these i know he did one shot me though on this build with this build so i'm pretty sure that the global modifier was active for the hunter so this was a heroic hunter i think i'm not 100 percent sure but based on the global modif modifier and me summoning him in we were able to drop him just two of us he did drop me once but luckily i had my revive hive if you are running any type of glass cannon build always have a revive hive because it will save you in the long term now, once I got up, we were able, he was able to mark him. He was running True Patriot, and then I was able to come around the other side. Now, if you are using the Gunner class, you have those foam grenades. That works really good. That's what we were using. If you want to use the new um, Shock Trap, you can also do that. But once you're sticking him with any type of foam grenade or Shock Trap, it should be easy. Just unload all the damage, and that's it. That is how you guys get the Angel Mask. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Remember, I do have a guide for every single mask so far from the new expansion World of New York. So check my tips and tricks video playlist and you should find every new mask in there. If you enjoyed the video, just leave a thumbs up. Definitely helps out the video. I will be wrapping up the video here. I'll see you guys in the next Division 2 video. Nothing but skills is out. <laughs>